Welcome to Fast Car TV and welcome to a very, very busy day at Silverstone where we're doing a little bit of a airlift special today. So we've got four cars down, all very different. We've got a diesel car, we've got an ST, little performance car, we've got an M3 E92 and we've also got JVC demo car. So yeah, a whole spectrum of cars but the one thing they've got in common is they're all on airlift but all different airlifts. So we've got the airlift performance series and the airlift slam series over there. Uh, some are on V2 management, some are on v, uh, P3. So let's, let's go over and have a look at the cars. And we're going to start with this GT86, which is the JVC demo car. Um, when was this launched, James? Uh, we launched it last year, um, sort of before it all really kicked off um, with the pandemic and things like that. Yeah. Um, and it, it went down an absolute storm. So we launched it in two phases. We launched it as the car itself. Yeah. And then we sort of relaunched it again now with all the audio build. Yep. Okay, which we did on another video. And then it came about because you got the Kaiser. Yes, yes. We've worked with Kaiser before yeah. and he designed um, something else that we've work, worked on. Uh, we went to him with a concept uh, and he came up basically with this. Right. Um, with what you see here today. So the, the render that he actually drew is not far different to what this is, which is amazing. And so what we've got on here, we've got the... Obviously, I think it's a Pandem Rocket Bunny kit. It is indeed, yeah, with the, with the, the side skirts and the wide arches, uh, which really give it that really wide stance uh, and the big rotiform wheels. Yeah, and then on the inside, you've got a Nardi steering wheel, Recaro seats. Yep. Um, under the bonnet, you've got a Miltec exhaust. Yeah, and a Piper Cross carbon induction kit as well. And the other thing we want to talk about really today is the airlift suspension it's on. Yes, indeed, yes. So that, that works a treat. Without that, we wouldn't get the stance and you wouldn't get the drivability that it has to be able to drive it yeah. to any event or any, any place you wanted to go to. That's what makes this sort of demo cars practical these days, isn't it? The it does, yeah. Get it right down and then you can raise it up to drive it home because you actually drove it here to Silverstone. I did, today, yeah, from, this morning, yeah. Where have you come up from? Just North London. And there we go. And you've not had any problems with the airlift? It's all been... No, it's been, it's been great, to be fair. Um, it, it works and for us as a demo car it has to be able to turn the key and it work every single time on any component and anything we have um, which you know we need to be able to order, demo the audio um, but the car needs to get there first yeah because i've seen this car at autosport birmingham it was there last this this year this year yeah, yeah. it was there this year uh, i've also seen it at players goodwood yes it was there that's when we that's when we unveiled it at players yeah. goodwood last year so that's on the south coast pretty much and this is that's up mid midlands and we're back in the midlands today so as you say yeah very usable car but yeah there you go there's one of the airlift cars i'm going to show you today well the jvc demo car of course make sure you read about it in the magazine check out the new jvc head unit should we move on to the next one then? So, on to the second airlift car today. Um, here with Jack Moorcroft. Hello. Audi A5, 3 litre, TDI, yep. Quattro. Quattro yep. It's quite, um, quite a meaty torque figure on it, isn't it? Yes, quite a meaty torque. 751 newton metres last time I dynoed a year and a half or so ago. Feels good. Be good for towing cars then. Uh, towing, oh, yeah. or towing anything. I've towed an E36 in the snow before and you wouldn't have even known. <laughs> <laughs> so you've owned this car for how long now? About four, four and a half years now. Four and a half years. Um, and what colour was it originally? Because it's wrapped it, in many. Yeah, isn't it? it's wrapped True Blood Red by a tech wrap, um, but it is actually phantom black underneath, which is actually the colour of the arches. They're colour coded, but. Okay. And when did the airlift go on it? Uh, pretty much a month after I bought it. So. So it's one of the first ago. modifications? Yeah, what, I think it was actually the first modifications. I think the first was actually the grill and then it was there a month after I bought it, definitely, yeah. And what management have you got in there? Is it uh, V2? It is V2, which is the, the, one of the older airlift managements, but that's never let me down once. Because it's your everyday car, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, yeah, so. well, that's why, because I obviously wanted it to be low, but I didn't want to be hitting everything all the time. And let's face it, it looks better, doesn't it? Yeah, it does look better. Yeah, well, every car <laughs> looks better low, so that's why. And you, I mean, you drive it up and down the country, don't you? Like yeah, yeah. Bournemouth to... Bournemouth to Cambridge pretty much every week. So. so you've done how many miles in this now? Have you posted about it? Uh, the, car's the car's on 190. I've done about 80 of those. Yeah. Uh, and Airlift has probably done about 80 of those as well. So. And faultless. Faultless. And this, yeah, is going on the cover of Fast Car Audi magazine. So you don't just see moving images, you can see ones that stay still as well. But you'll see the full write-up and the full spec of the car in that magazine. Okay, well, thanks for that, Jack. Thank you very much. And we're going to go on to the next one now which could be an M3 or a Fiesta ST. But let's go with the M3. So you've got no continuity issues here. See, it's been like that all, so that car's always been there. They've always been moved. But yeah, anyway, don't worry about that. Anyway, so we're on to a third car today we're gonna to talk about, and it is a BMW M3. E92? E92. So yeah, the 
probably one of the, the better ones ever made. They're all good, the M, M cars, obviously, but it's probably one of my personal favourites, the old E92. Obviously, it's a performance-based car on airlift, which a lot of people uh, might, might not really appreciate, but I've actually had an E92 on air, and it drives better than standard, mine did anyway. What about yourself? Yeah, 100%. I've driven standard ones of these. I've driven, obviously, I've driven mine. They're this, it drives just as well as a decent set of coilovers. So, and I don't think I mentioned your name. So this is Owen, this is your car, isn't it? Yep. How long have you had it? Uh, be two years next week. Two years, and you've done a heck of a lot to it by that, by the looks of it. So what was the first modification on this car? Bags, always. So, so is it straight, you got it, and then you put it straight on bags? Yeah, so it was always, it was gonna be one, one of those things. I had a bad car before, it was, it was always gonna be bagged again. Um, it was one of the things that I wanted. It was, I got the perfect spec car, and I thought, yeah, first thing I'll do is get that done. It's one of the major things anyway. And what is the setup you've gone for? Uh, it is 3P management yep. with the performance struts, uh, camber adjustable top mounts, and then there's a floating tank boot build in the back as well. I know you, you were really focused on getting those work equips on there, weren't you? Yeah, and yeah. Then, obviously, you said they're a 5 by They're 5 by 114 yeah. and they're run with 20mm adapters on because finding a set of direct fit 5x120, 19 inch equips are yeah, very, very hard. Yeah. And so these were the, the only ones I could find that wouldn't have to be shipped in from the States. And you've got some lovely carbon fiber on there. You've obviously got the front splitter, the side. Yep, splitter, skirts, um, kidney grills, yeah. diffuser, um, see the mirror caps, and then the wing is carbon with the bottom half color coded as well. Yeah, and then on the inside, I think like you've got a couple of Cobra bucket seats in there. Yep, yeah. so these are, these are the Nagaro Club Sports I've got in there. Um, they were, but I, I bought them just after they were released. I think they were released at the beginning of this year. I ordered them in April, it turned up August time. And you've got a cage in there as well, haven't you? Yep, so it's a, it's a Palmer Sport cage. It actually came out of um, the M3 Experience cars. It was, um, I mean, I've got, got a touch at the end actually. It's rather than paying sort of five, six hundred quid, it cost me 120 pounds off eBay. So, last but not least, is we're here with Sean, and we've got his little Fiesta ST. Um, and as you can see, and quite predictably, it's on airlift. First of all, why you opted to have airlift suspension? All my mates had air ride, yeah. so I thought I'd join him in the crowd and uh, get us sitting low and that. Yeah. I think it handles perfectly fine, to be honest. Um, same as coilovers and everything, really. What setup have you got underneath there? So uh, it's just the airlift slam series slam kit. Series. Yeah. And what management? Uh, the V2. Single tank, uh, one compressor. The airlift's only half the story in this car, so you've got the Oz. Split rims on there? Yep, uh, there's only two sets about for the Fiesta fitment, so these are one of them. And then, so these little side seals? Yeah, so these are Maxton side skirts. Yep. Uh, got the Maxton front splitter as well. Uh, the Maxton cup spoilers, they yep. stick out a lot more than standard. Um, smooth front bumper. And the other, I think probably my favorite modification on your car are the seats. Yeah. So they're Mercedes AMG yeah. seats. And you're not quite sure what they're out of, are you? No, I've been told, believe they're out of a C63, um, but you can get them in the A45s as well. And you've got a little cage in the back? Yep, uh, that's a Voodoo half cage, uh, sprayed in orange. And that matches your air tank? Yep. So there we go, four cars, four very different cars, little Fiesta ST, Mad M3, even crazier GT86. As you can see, just a mad spectrum of cars, all running airlift suspension, all for different reasons, but mainly because it's practical, makes your car look amazing, and there we go. But yeah, check in again for another issue of Fast Car TV. Boom.